Welcome back to another research submarine video, but today I'm going to be showing you guys how to actually use this thing. So it's official. This thing is actually on workshop now. The link is in the description of this video. But let's go ahead and no clip inside this thing, and I'm going to kind of show you guys how to use this. So first thing you want to do to actually start this thing's engine is um, activate this unlock reactor button right here, and then turn on reactor on and off, and then you'll click power on, and there you go. That's how you start the reactor. But while you're waiting for that to actually kick up, go to this generator screen here to see how much generator output it's going to. Once that starts rising, you can go in that um, captain seat right there and put the throttle down which is up and down but also while you're waiting for that you can turn on all the lights in this thing which is perfectly fine for electric this thing has one heck of a generator to it in this reactor room we also have a fire suppression panel right here so if we activate this and turn on this it'll put out some fire suppression in this thing and that should put out the reactor fire but if it doesn't we have a fire extinguisher actually in the reactor room and it does um beep so if you can just turn that off by muting that which actually doesn't work but we're gonna fix that today and then if we wanted to we can scram the reactor which will basically emergency shut it down so let's just say that one appears red you're gonna want to click that scram button because you're probably about to have some meltdown but um we do have a radiation leak detector which will also alert you and alert you on that front panel over there but we can't see it but yeah this is our battery control station right here this is our generator output for this generator right here matter of fact let's turn on this generator and show you guys kind of how to use it so it'll turn on the generator we have a generator output right there we have emergency lights which will activate all these red lights right here just in case they use less battery than the main ones then we have our main battery display emergency one and then if batteries go below 35 percent these will activate and then we have our emergency battery which we can connect to our main breaker but yeah that's basically this and then our generator here we can do high low so clicking this will switch it to high and it'll activate a little bit higher there and then you can do engine heat override and this basically means it will not stop stop um, running if it's about overheat so that will basically explode it so i don't know if you want to do that but maybe for like a little role play that'd be kind of cool uh, right here is our rov so we'll turn on systems here and activate this to disconnect it and this thing can drive so up and down is your throttle same within the helm over there to drive this um, actual submarine but um it is a little finicky and i don't think you can actually reconnect it back to the submarine it's not that maneuverable but it's pretty fun to drive not really that good at researching if i'm gonna be honest but it's just a little fun little rc car i guess oh why is this thing upside down hold on what in the world just happened and then if it flips, it should um, flip back over like it's doing here. But sometimes it won't. So if that radar right there is upside down, it probably won't flip back over. But if it's on its side like that, it should. But um, next up over here is this panel right here. So this is our sonar panel. This is a uh, sonar. I don't know if this actually works. And I think our reactor actually just exploded. That normally doesn't happen, but it sometimes does. I don't know why. Anyways, um, we can turn on radar and sonar here. And this one does work. So it's a backup one. We can zoom in and out using these plus and minus arrows right here. And we actually do have some sonar and radar targets gets on our map here and those could either be krakens sharks or another submarine about to attack us underwater but next up is this bilge pump panel right here so this is our bilge pumps so we have a water display level in each room so whatever this is it basically just tells us how much water is actually in that current room so if that's like 100 or something we can activate it for that room and it should go down but then we have a water warning right here and then we can enable all bilge which will turn on everything but um we don't actually have bilge pumps for these three right here those are just for props basically but next up is our ballast tanks so this is our ballast it's pretty complicated stuff here so we can fill this thing up so fill bottom left we'll activate these bottom left things here so it's pretty cool stuff like that and then you can drain it by clicking that and it'll drain it pretty fast but then this button right here will fill all of our ballast immediately and this thing will sink really fast guys so really you only do that if you need to or if you're just jive diving for some reason but to deactivate it you do that and then you can blow the ballast which will basically drain these as fast as possible and then another um alert will go off with blow ballast on and it'll drain these pretty fast but once they get this air update out i might put some air pressure stuff in these things but then we have an emergency resurface which can work if we're on full ballast so if we click this and we're at the bottom of the ocean and we have full ballast tanks it will actually launch us up to the surface so if we click this just for show right now it'll launch us up with some rocket boosters when the rocket boosters wear out it'll um, activate these thrusters right here so pretty cool and it'll keep us above water as you can tell it'll also display a lovely alarm like that so it's basically all this stuff back here but let's go ahead up here in this helm here so we can click displays like that turn on dial backlights which doesn't work but when that does work it'll turn on all the backlights for this so you can see it better and then up and down is our throttle which we can see right here so it's just your up and down on your keypad right there and then we have our thruster speed so you can change this up and down that'll just basically do whatever one of these so if i click the left one right here it'll turn us to the right so it activates this bow thruster right here and if i activate the right one it'll activate this one over here and push us to the left and basically same thing on these other ones and we can do the opposite ones and it'll basically put us in a circle but um to get this thing to go actually underwater we're gonna you're gonna want to click um fill all ballast just like that and that'll open all these doors on the outside of this boat and it'll fill it up with water quite fast so and then you can also use wns to have it go underwater quickly and wns is your pitch 
and A and D is your um, turning, basically, so that's lovely. Um, also, we're going to have to turn on infinite electric because our reactor did explode for some reason. But there we go. This thing can drive, and yeah. Once all the ballasts are filled, we can turn this off and then turn it back on again, and it'll just disable all that fun stuff. But um, right here is emergency lockdown, so this will lock all doors in the submarine, which is awesome and probably necessary at some points. This is our blow ballast button, which will blow the ballast and activate the button back there. And then we have uh, an emergency panel over here, so if we click this, it'll launch these two front flares right there launch some flares in the air just in case there's an emergency and then we have a transponder which will activate a transponder beacon and then we have some channels right here for some radio and then that will be um how good our signal strength is and then don't mind that that's just for our escape pod here that we'll test in a bit but i'm gonna give a little bit of a tour of this thing actually so back here is our crew room so this is where all we can sleep at we have some equipment right here oxygen mass transponders radios flashlights and then we have bilge pumps emergency lights all up on the top there and then we have our computer room right here so if there's any emergencies going going on in here make sure you repair the red stuff first red stuff is way more important than the white stuff over here red stuff is in control of all the thing systems bilge pumps bow thrusters water warnings a whole bunch of other stuff and definitely put out the battery fires if we do have any battery fires but um next up we go down here and this is a reactor room right here so this is where this thing's reactor is at this thing can explode i'm pretty sure it actually just did there's also multiple different bilge pumps in here with emergency lights and our fire suppression system back there with the sprinklers that's pretty cool but yeah that's basically this room there is a fire extinguisher in here to put out the fire you can just do that by just clicking your um button on your mouse there and then right here is our grand kitchen with a cool 2023 fishing logo and we have some hvac in here with a freezer oh yeah with some stuff in there but yeah that's basically the kitchen and then we have this stuff right here this is all for looks it does absolutely nothing we have some hvac in here with two bathrooms and there is a scuttle button in the sink, which will open that hatch. We'll have to go back up there to show you that. But then over here, we have some more heaters. And right here is my bedroom, the captain quarters, or your bedroom if you're going to be operating this thing. So this is the one that you will sleep in if you're ever doing some research stuff. And then we have our HVAC room right here. So we can turn on submarine wide heat. We'll activate all the heaters in this thing. And then we have a submarine wide AC, which will turn on all the AC in this thing. It actually doesn't work for AC, but it is pretty cool. And then we have all the readings here, which will be the atmosphere level. So this is just a temperature gauge um, put in each room. And then this is what it displays. So 28.9. And then if we activate heat here, it'll go up pretty fast. So here we go. That's heat and it goes up. And then if we go in our um, laboratory here, so this is the fun stuff here. This is where we do all of our research. This is an iron station right here with some data computers and whatever this is, I don't even know. And then we have a monitor here, which is basically a monitor that just looks inside of this room right here. So if I go in here, I can see myself in that room once I close that door, which I can't because I'm too fat. Okay. But yeah, then we can do start experiment. It does something pretty cool here. Let's definitely lock that door because something's about to explode here in a second. And there it is. Okay, so that's what start experiment does. It's a little worrying. And I do hear a water alert going off up there. So let's go ahead and fix that. But that's basically the uh, submarine, guys. We can go ahead and click that to mute it, which it won't work because we have infinite electric on. So that'll work. And then if we turn on mute, it'll mute it just like that. And then where's this water at that it says we have? Um, Perfectly, it's in our lab. And I can feel this thing angling down because we're filling up. Okay, we're going to do emergency resurface here, actually. And we're going to blow the ballast while we're at it because we need to rise immediately. And it'll just push this thing up to the surface if possible. Oh, gosh, we're having some issues here. Hold on. We need to get in the captain seat here. We need to get in the captain captain see here and um help this thing resurface here because we're definitely having some issues there we go just like that and we're about to resurface here i do see the surface dude this thing rises so fast it is pretty crazy and we just launched out of the water that is probably not that safe but we did safely land and let's put the throttle to zero and there we go that is emergency resurface for you it does indeed work but yeah we are currently filling up with water and a lot of these rooms our um bilge pump actually doesn't work because there's just that much water okay there we go now our bilge pump goes down but yeah that's basically the submarine guys and then to scuttle this thing you activate this button right here which will um, put a little bit of water in this thing. So that'll activate that hatch right there, which was right under the bathroom. So let's go down here and I'll show you guys it here. It'll flood this entire bathroom thing with water. Yes, you can go in that. Yes, you will fall straight through the submarine if you go in there. And this thing's going down from the front. Okay. Oh, we're about to smack the bottom, aren't we? Okay. Oh, yeah. This thing's going down, guys. This thing's definitely going down. Okay. Let's go up here to the bridge. All right. Yep. Our rudder's sticking out of the water. There's not a whole lot you can do in this situation, but what you can do is activate some bow thrusters here, which will activate this and it'll kind of spin you around so if you activate that one it'll level you out just like that so that's some type of strategy you can use just in case you're sinking and there you go you're perfectly upright but um it will sink back down but if you um activate your engine here you can basically control it with your rudder so yeah and then we
then we do have a periscope right here with a monitor that's not on right now but we will turn that on but basically wns um is rise and lower and then you can turn it and that's your camera right there so that's what you see through and then we have an up and down as a zoom but you can't see that right now because the monitor is not currently working all right we got everything working now so this is what it looks like when it's fixed so we can zoom in and out and it is constant so that's pretty cool and guys, we do have an escape pod, which works underwater and above water. So if we launch it underwater, it'll just flow back up. But if we launch it above water, which is the fun part here. So let's go ahead and enter the escape pod. This is the escape pod hatch right here. We close that door. Definitely remember to close that door or else it'll flood with water. And then get in the seat here. And then this arm button right here will open this uh, hatch right here, which um, you guys did tell me to do that instead of having a separate button for it. But then turn on your transponder, which will activate these blinking lights and our transponder right here. But then to launch this thing, it's pretty simple. You just click this big red launch button right there. And here we go. We are in the air. And that's basically what it does. The same thing as the ultimate tsunami survival boat. But this thing does actually float in the water. It floats way better than the uh, tsunami escape pod one. So this one's definitely a little bit better. But yep, it'll go in the water just like that. Maybe go a little bit deep. And that's our flare right over there. So it landed pretty close to us. But yeah, just like that, this thing does float. So that's nice. But yeah, guys, that's the submarine. It is on workshop right now. So if you do have Stormworks, you guys can go ahead and subscribe to this thing it is um in the description of this video so be sure to check it out let me know if there's anything wrong with it in the youtube comments real quick and i forgot to show you guys but this is how you enter this thing you just do that and do that and it's pretty simple just like that and then you can lock it too if you want with uh that display right there actually displays how much water is in that room so definitely don't want to open that if that's above zero that's probably going to be it for this video though and maybe even this series i might actually do some more videos on this but this is just the release video for the submarine so make sure you stay tuned with some more building videos if i do actually do any more on the submarine and of course stay tuned with the channel and i might do even some more building videos on this channel channel on Stormworks. Make sure you guys like and subscribe, hit that bell, but thanks for watching and goodbye.